Hello friends, welcome back to Stable Automation. In this video, we will configure S7-1200 PLC as Modbus TCP server. I assume that you are familiar with Modbus protocol and terminology like Modbus server, client, holding registers, etc. Modbus TCP server will reply to the queries sent by the clients. And client can be anything like any other PLC, HMI, SCADA or any third party software which can communicate over Modbus TCP protocol. Here we will use built-in block called MB underscore server. This instruction makes S7-1200 PLC as a Modbus TCP server and communicate via PropNet connection. It processes the connection request of Modbus TCP client and sends the responses. Note that you can create multiple server connection. You will be required to call this block multiple times. This allow a single CPU to accept connection from multiple Modbus client at the same time. In this block, we will be required to configure some parameters. Disconnect. To disconnect the communication with Modbus client, make this parameter to 1. Normally, this will be 0 mb underscore hold underscore reg this is the pointer to the db values of this db will be available on holding register of modbus server so whatever the value in this parameter this holding register you will get on your modbus server connect this is the pointer to a structure called tcon underscore ip underscore v4 which contains some parameters that are required for establishing a connection. NDR New Data Ready It will become 1 when new data written by the Modbus client is completed. DR Data Ready It will become 1 when data read by Modbus client is completed. Error It will become 1 if there is any error. Status. This will return a status code of the MB server block. Okay, here I am creating a project from the very first step. Selecting CPU. This is the IP address of our CPU. Now to configure Modbus parameters, I am creating a DB called MB underscore DB. Let's take mb underscore server block. And now we will configure all the parameters required for this block. We don't require to disconnect the communication, so we will keep this disconnect parameter as false. Hold underscore register. This is the array of integer from 0 to 49. So total we will have 50 addresses.
connect in this we have interface id this is hardware identifier of the local interface This is available from here. ID unique for each instance. If you are calling this block multiple times, then ID will be different. Connection type. This will be 11 for TCP connection. Active established. For server, this parameter will be false. If you are configuring S7-1200 PLC as Modbus client, then this parameter will be 1 or true. Remote addresses. If you want to accept connection with the any particular client, then set its IP address here. If you want to allow any client to connect with this server, then keep this as 0000. Remote port. Port number of the client. If you want any remote port to connect with this server, then keep this 0 as well. Local port. For mode bus, we generally keep this as 502. And configuring error and status parameters Now let's download this program to our controller. compiling the project before downloading PLC and data will be reinitialized for this download okay now program is downloaded
let's go online and see the status there is no error right now it is false and the code is coming 7002 and post 7002 connection is being established now let's check in uh, mode scan so we have successfully connected our PLC over Modbus TCP now let's do some checking we will change some value and check the same on our mode scan modifying the value The same value is available on mod scan. Now let's modify from this mod scan, and this change will be available on our DB. Now let us change the value of last register that is 40050. The same values reflected here now if we try to read the address which is not present in our Modbus server then it will not respond like this there will be no response so up to 50 register our Modbus server is replying because we have configured 50 registers so as per your requirement you can configure the length of your Modbus registers so friends, I hope you liked the video. Thank you for watching and see you in next video. Thank you.